hello guys hello guys welcome once again to our channel so guys just like i told you to stay tuned i will be bringing to you another interesting gist i have not failed i have not forgotten that i promised you guys that so that is why i am here to gist you guys on a very very interesting one i believe you guys know this our lady destiny etiko i'm on now why are they tell most of us bc let us not forget to follow up follow up asap because when you follow up you get the connection when you follow up before i go even talk b you understand what he has already um you know tried to portray because right now me wanting to tell you another storyline on destiny ethical most of you might not be able to follow up the story because you some of us do not really know the um the the story behind destiny ethical her biography and every other thing but those are things i've i've actually talked about over and over so guys stay tuned let me just give you guys an insight on who uh destiny etiko really is she is an hollywood actress you know an hollywood uh star one of the best actress when it comes to nigerian nollywood entertainment industry honestly destiny etiko has been able to grace the screen a screen with her performances you know she is one of the uh the beautiful and uh you know well-known queen doll when it comes to movie when it comes to um portraying what you have when it comes to showing people that you really know what you're doing destiny etiko is one of them she she is the drama queen when uh destiny etiko can go as far as you know acting any part she is being given like any any performance anyone you want her to you know she kills it all that is just the truth and she's beautiful when it comes to beauty she also an outstanding uh beautiful actress okay guys that is not the story for today but the story for today is that um i'm gonna ask you guys a question like do you really know where uh destiny ethical romantic um relationship with jerry williams like have you guys really thought about what really happened between these two persons or are they still in the relationship that is what we'll be talking about today like i had said earlier we all know that destiny ethical is a well-known and famous nigerian movie star yes the number one drama queen according to uh ekene umewa that is what she normally call destiny ethical all right guys this mama has a very very huge backside i will not say if it's natural or artificial but what we see outside the box is that she has a very huge backside and beautiful backside where they cause confusion for our society okay um i know you guys might have seen most of a video the like of it Emily, and so many other videos that she has um acted so many videos that i cannot start mentioning i cannot start talking about right now but i just know that some of you have seen her in one movie or the other well my people destiny etiko and i'm um, jerry williams don't they into this relationship matter but before i go deeply into their relationship story let's know briefly who this jerry really really is uh jerry williams born september 24 1985 is a widely recognized na um, nollywood nigerian film producer and actor uh jerry hails from anambra state in the eastern part of the country nigeria jerry is a guy that can fit into any role given to him and his interpretation is just so unique you know guys when i say fitting in into any role you know when you give someone this part today to play and the person's just kill it all and tomorrow you ask this person to act like a mad person running on the street the person kills it next tomorrow you act like a father uh up, ah at that same point you, you become very famous you become very famous because by the time all the producers and uh, all the movie director will want you to be acting in uh, almost all the videos people will start the few say and eh, a hatred or not wanting or the other not actually knowing that it's your perfection that is giving you that opportunity to be you know um coming up on every movie in the entertainment industry okay guys jerry is a guy that can fit into any role given to him and his interpretation is just unique like i told you guys earlier jerry william rose to fame when he featured in a movie called the chosen king which brought him to limelight you know guys you can be known for something like you can be doing something for so long for either one year two years and nobody gets to acknowledge you but there must be that particular stuff that be it in comedy be it in music be it in even movie industry 
there must be that particular one movie where you can't act ah now that one movie go make everybody now go back go the focus on this particular person you will see somebody start saying oh i love this actor no be because say him be done the act every other but that particular one movie you just they like oko on lagos normally we be no they know oko on lagos not until he acted that movie oko on lagos that has been the only one movie that has made people known him for you know the character he plays the role he plays in all movie and uh secondly guys uh just like the name implies okon lagos now nobody gets to know that this guy's name is not okon lagos because everybody gets to call him by that particular name so um jerry williams has actually rose to limelight because of this particular movie the chosen king which he acted jerry started his acting career in 2009 when he was still in the university you know battling with university and also going for your acting it's kind of um it's kind of tight for him okay guys before i go deeply into the matter and let's do the usual exercise guys please 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 click on the bell subscribe like and comment on this video let us know your own um, thought about this whole thing are you really really telling us that um destiny etiko and jerry williams has actually been in a relationship have they come out officially to let us know that they are in a relationship or oh, some persons are saying that they were even married so guys do you think this is true or just rumor okay my people for those of you that are joining us new we're actually talking about destiny etiko and uh, jerry williams their relationship statue where has the relationship taking both of them to are they currently married are they still in relationship because people are saying different things from what i've seen so far all right my people there have been rumors of uh, jerry williams having something to do with chinenye nebe and destiny etiko of which he denied saying that he and destiny only have good working relationship then i'm um, for chinenye they don't even talk aside set aside you know coming out to for movie uh, they don't talk uh, apart from that and they they are not even friends they are not that close except for the fact that you'll be like oh ma'am um, jerry you're going to be acting with chinenye and this is the part you guys will be acting in the movie aside that they do not have any other conversation and um for destiny etiko he had confirmed that they are close they are friends and they have good working relationship anything than that is just nothing uh well guys this jerry and destiny speculation started after wedding photos of the two surfaced online however guys it was revealed later that the photos were taken on the set of the film the return of the coming so my people this two's relationship is strictly professional that is just um how much i can talk about their relationship although rumors have had it that these two were in a relationship and later on destiny had to call it over she quitted the relationship and now found another man but my people that is why i do say it is better to hear from the horse's mouth than follow up speculations man you know man imaginations because people can just sit down and see the way these two celebrities are together every now and then they are always chilling flexing together and they'll start giving their speculation their mindset their thoughts about these two relationship that has always been the case from the onset definitely people are going to talk it only becomes official when the two party comes out to tell us that yes so we are dating no we are in a relationship but we are going to get married soon no that is when we can now say this is official relationship Relationship. so my people it, it just they like our day-to-day -day life there is how someone sees you with a particular guy you know having um running a business being in a business organization being in a group in, in a place where you find yourself with a group of people you must definitely have that one person that you can align with that one person that understands you better it's same thing with all industry be it movie or music or wherever it is you find yourself even if in school you must have that particular person some of us call them bestie who knows if these two were just that close you know this this kind of bestie bestie vibes and uh people are now misquoting it for something else so my people me and no go just say and eh, this student the relationship because i never hear from their mouth say we did date to so me and this girl we're in a relationship or not we only take it as if they are just best of friends just like um jerry williams had said earlier that they have a good working um relationship all right guys thank you so much for staying up with me that is the gist for today i really appreciate your time but please before you leave take a second like subscribe and comment on this video thank you so much and stay tuned for our next video